All right, it's approaching bedtime on a Friday night, and I found some time this evening to work on these Tudor Fab Five figures that will be a custom Color Rush Pittsburgh Steelers team. And tonight, I tackled uh, the lineman figures, offensive and defensive linemen, doing some detail work on their arms. Now, this was always part of the plan, and... Uh, I'll show you on this figure, which is not a lineman, it's a, a backer figure, to uh, uh, challenge myself with a little more uh, detail on these figures than on previous efforts, uh, particularly focusing on doing different things with their hands and arms. And on this figure, as you can see, I added some yellow gloves with black wristbands. Pretty simple stuff. Now, I always knew the lineman would be more challenging than any of the other figures, because with all these figures, the backers, the uh, sprinters and runners and all-purpose figures you have access to their entire arms you know all the way around them not so with a lineman figure in which uh, they're actually molded up against their chest like so so this has been a, a little fiddly to uh, uh, work on these and I can already see that more detail is required this particular figure which is number I think it's 64 that could be 69 I need to give another pass with some yellow paint underneath the arms there and the armpits and also to cover up a little bleed over I got on the jersey there on his left arm so this one has some gloves and that's it just some black gloves and each one is different and I went ahead and did this batch first because the next thing I'm going to do is put a little Steelers logo right there uh, on the jersey. In fact, I might as well go ahead and put some more yellow there to make uh, plenty of room for the tiny little um, Steelers logo that's going to be there. It's just something that Pittsburgh has on their uniforms now, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Easy to do on the rest of these, but of course the hand is in the way on these linemen, so it's going to be just a little more fiddly. Uh, but there you go now. Sometimes it's difficult to know what exactly to do underneath their arms here. Um, especially with elbow pads, and I'll show you that in a moment. But uh, just a little more cleanup on this, and I think it'll look pretty good. So I just need to remember number 69, or 64, which is just a little more yellow paint. Probably with a toothpick. I can. In fact, I might do that tonight. We'll just have to see. But uh, let's put this down. Let's just go... Down the line here. These two are still drying, so I'll do those last. <sighs> this one, with some black gloves. Again, some yellow paint would not be remiss right there. I was just too timid. That's all. And a black elbow pad. And I've already actually gone over this with some flesh tones, but it looks like it could stand another pass, doesn't it? It's pretty jagged. I think we can do better with just some a toothpick and some flesh tone. Clean that up a little better than that. You know, even with my reading glasses, even with the lights on and the reading glasses, I can see much more detail in my camera here. So that might be the way to paint these. I don't know. Seems like a lot of trouble to set up this video camera every time I need to paint figures. But yeah, I can see a lot there that needs to be done. Yeah, the elbow pad looks okay on this one. Probably not the best elbow pad I did. Um, but that'll look good on the field, I think. Alright. Now the next one. Oh, here we go. Now he's got a sleeve on his left arm. That goes all the way up to the uh, jersey. Now, uh, I think initially this one was supposed to have yellow gloves. But that wasn't going to look very good against the yellow jersey. So I opted for black gloves instead. There was another one here where I opted for white gloves instead. We'll see that in a moment. But that's about as detailed as I'm probably going to get. Uh, now let's look under here. Yeah, again, a little yellow paint would not be remiss under there to clean that up just a little. Okay. But that's going to look all right. It already looks good from afar, but you know me, I want to 
I'll make it as clean as possible. Okay. Now this one, yeah, has white gloves with a black sleeve on the left hand side. And it looks like a little more black paint would be a good idea on that sleeve. It's kind of hard to see the the white glove over on the the right hand side in this light. We can Nope. That was unsuccessful. Turn that back on. Well, it's there. There you can kind of see. There. Yeah, it's there. Looks okay. Uh, and again, I think a little yellow paint. I'm just going to have to get out some yellow paint and do some cleanup on all these, it looks like. And that's okay. I'll wait and do that tomorrow. Give these a good chance to dry overnight. And, uh, boy, it's looking good, though, isn't it? You can, you know, imagine the Steelers logo on there and a face mask and the jersey. We're getting there. The jersey numbers, I mean. Yeah, we're getting there. It's going to look good. Next one. Yeah, lots going on with this one. White gloves, a sleeve on the left-hand side, and just an elbow pad on the right-hand side. And that's probably a better elbow pad than on that other figure. A little smaller. But th this is what they do. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason sometimes to the way these uh, athletes, you know, accessorize their arms in gameplay. Um... I think that's just going to look really good on the electric grid eye. Now, this next one, I was not on board with before the paint dried. But now I'm okay with it. You see this all the time. They just tape up their arms and their, their hands. You know, they're wearing gloves, maybe. And then they've got tape all the way up on their arms. You know, there's a, a spot there on the left fist where I need to put some yellow paint. Now you can see I was way too timid to go all the way up to the uh, jersey on these, but you know what? That actually looks really good. That like a a fine line there. Um, of course, you know I did go all the way up to the jersey on the back. Yeah, need some yellow paint just once around that to smooth it out and it look good. All right. So I'll be watching this back uh, tomorrow, probably, while I uh, touch these up. And you know, the Riddell plate needs a little touch-up as well, with some white paint. I just noticed that. And there's some flash on here that I think I can probably just sit here and do this with long enough and it'll come off. But, uh, that's going to be another good-looking figure. I have a second-hand uh, Chicago Bears figure whose arms are taped up, you know, or was just wearing uh, white gloves and sleeves, and it looks really good. But I think there's at least one or two more figures in this batch that are going to look like that, too. Just nice contrast, really. I mean, he's got white shoes, too. It's just a real nice contrast. Okay. And... Okay. This one has a sleeve on the right arm with white gloves to uh, mix things up a little. I need to put a little black paint on his helmet right there. Constantly having to go in back and touch up and look. Paint's worn off his heel. That's very common on these figures when because I'm holding them back there. So that'll have to be touched up before we seal the figure. That actually looks pretty good underneath. So does that. Yeah. But, uh, again... Nice little contrast there. All right. Now, this one, okay, white gloves and a white elbow pad. And I'm not incredibly happy with the paint, the white paint. I don't know if another coat is in order or not. Maybe, maybe on the gloves. It's hard to tell on the elbow pad with this light. Maybe another coat. But, uh, that's really gonna pop. You know, just imagine that zooming down the field with those white gloves and the elbow pad. That'll be cool. And this guy, now this, 
Oh, it's very easy to see in this light. He's wearing uh, black gloves and black elbow pads. And uh, you can see what I tried to do. I tried to get the elbow pad into the the Clooney of his arm. I believe that's what it's called. Um, didn't do so well on this one over here, but um, it still looks like an elbow pad. It might look a little more like a skateboard pad than what a uh, what a football player wears, but. It's all right, and the gloves look okay too. I just, you know, maybe, mm, so scary, you know, taking your yellow, toothpick and yellow paint and trying to clean up the line around the gloves. Uh, it turns into a war between yellow paint and black paint, and and it takes several coats of yellow paint. And I'll show you that here in just a moment to paint over black paint with acrylics. All right. There's only two more, and I need to be careful with these two because they may still be wet. Okay, black gloves and a yellow sleeve. And for contrast, I decided not to let the sleeve go all the way up to the shoulder pad. That You see that on football players, too. For whatever reason, I call them opera gloves because that's essentially what they look like. Um, they just go all the way up to the, uh, the shoulder, except they stop before the jersey. And uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know why they wear those. But they do. I mean, it's bound to be some sort of therapeutic uh, concern. Uh, I don't. I'm sure it's not fashion. But uh, yeah, that looks okay. It's hard to see again the Clooney of his elbow with that yellow paint on it. But it's there. Um, all right. I might. Take a toothpick and just put a little yellow paint right there at the top of that stripe. Otherwise, that's a good looking figure. Now, does this arm need to be repainted? Probably. So I'll probably do that with a brush rather than a toothpick. Make sure it's it's nice on there. Okay. All right, I guess that's dry. And then one more. Okay, yeah. Black gloves and yellow armbands. And you know, that one's pretty good beneath there. You can see the bend in the elbow there. And uh, maybe not so much there, but it is the right, that's the shape I went, that's the shape I meant to make it. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that's another one that's going to look neat. You know, zooming down, oh no, he's a lineman, he's not going to be zooming, but traveling down the field. And I need to touch up the, the base plate there, where I've just been holding it by the corner, and back this one. So, yeah, that'll be the last step before I start adding um, uh, fine details like the, the swoosh on the shoes and the uh, uh, shoulder stripes with the uh, Sharpie marker. Uh, but we'll get there with that one. Well, okay, so the point here is that the Lyman figures, if you're going to be adding special things to their arms like elbow pads or wristbands or gloves or, or sleeves or whatever uh, may be tricky because of the mold of the figure. Uh, meanwhile, for figures like these, it's smooth sailing. I mean, it's going to be real easy to... Well, maybe tricky beneath there. I have to be very careful not to uh, paint on my leg stripe. So I'll have to be uh, very mindful of that. Um, but it's going to be easier than with the lineman. And uh, let's look at another style figure. Yeah, might have an issue on this figure as well, getting beneath the hand there and around the arm. But, you know, a wristband, an elbow pad is not going to be a problem. It's a little easier to visualize an elbow pad on this figure. You can actually see it now, really, if you just concentrate hard enough. And, and also on this arm, so, yeah, I don't think, I don't anticipate any issues moving forward, especially with the, the uh, runner figure on this arm. Now we, that could be a problem. Uh, we just have to be careful. And, uh, but, you know, these backer figures, complete smooth sailing. Um, because the arm is outstretched, and so is this one to a degree. Um, 
any sleeves, I'll just need to be careful there in the armpit. And just, you know, keep paint off the stripes. That'll be the, the most important thing to do. I think in future I'll wait and do the stripes after I do the arm detail. But one of the reasons um, I'm, I've waited till last to do all the, the stuff on the arms is because um, I often hold the figure by the hands like so. So it's just going to rub the paint off the, the hands on, on and on the elbows and and arms of some of these figures. So I thought I'd wait and do that these kind of details last. But you know, the end is. I keep. I continue to say this. The end is inside on this project. Um, it's just. Uh, Steelers logos, which I'm very good at, for whatever reason, and some details on the arms, and uh, at which point we'll uh, do some uh, fine detail work with a Sharpie marker, a black Sharpie, um, and then I'll probably let these figures dry for multiple days, because it does take a, a long time for Sharpie ink to dry well enough to not bleed and, and uh, um, run when applying brush sealer. And once they're sealed, they're probably going to go into a storage container while I rearrange this room a little bit, put this desk against this other wall so I can have more... I don't know if you can see the field here now. Uh, well, I need to learn how to do this with the... Um, this carpet's going. I'm, I'm sick of this carpet. I'm, it's just a, a cheap, fake Indian rug. Um, that's going out of here. Um, there we go. And, uh, there's the field. And I've got a field cover on top of my field right now. There's really no time. Uh, heck with this. Just do this. Um, you know, those football guys that uh, we uh, looked at in the last upload uh, came with. Uh, this little play mat, which it turns out is almost the same size as a, a 9092 uh, uh, Pro Bowl field, which is 36 by 18. This is not the same dimensions quite. It's a little longer uh, width, but not quite as long. But it's going to make a great little tarp to keep dust and particles off the field. But like I said, what I plan to do is move that desk, uh, flip it around to where it's facing this wall, which will move this whole thing over here which will give me uh, another foot or so that way which will uh, actually help quite a bit and uh, I mean I like the football field where it is because I don't have to constantly move it I have a walkway around it and uh, this is the optimal position for filming because of the uh, overhead light it would just be nice to be able to move it about another foot to the left so I have uh, just a little more room to walk around in here. But who knows, I may actually uh, start rearranging the room on Monday. I don't know. I mean, if I ever get a larger field, it's going to be necessary. Because, I mean, there's just barely enough room for this 36-inch, uh, this 3-foot long field right now. If I can move this around, I would have space for a, a, a scale field. So, uh, Provided the table is not too much bigger than the field, it's the board itself. But I'm hoping that removing this rug from the uh, uh, the floor is going to help this game run a little better. I, I don't know if that will be the case or not. I've got two towels beneath it now, sort of to, to dampen the vibrations just a little bit. This thing has a lot of wrinkles in it, and I just don't think... Um, I mean, the, uh, the level on the uh, tripod tells me that uh, even though it looks like the uh, uh, apparatus's level, it's telling me that it's skewed far... Uh, towards the far end of the house, which is a little worrisome, but I'm hoping it's just uh, this uh, this rug. Well, I feel like I've talked enough tonight. I'm getting pretty tired, and I think I'm going to head to bed. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and uh, I hope this uh, look at painting some Lyman figures uh, gives you some ideas for painting your own electric football figurines. Okay, thanks for watching. Talk to you again later.